Hi, Nuri, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm okay, thank you. How right. about you? I'm good, thank you. What's new? Okay, I'll just... <laughs> mm, nothing new. Nothing new? No. Did you work a lot today? Yes. That's good. <laughs> Always teaching. Yes. Nuri, are, are, you are married, correct? Yes, I am. And how many children do you have? Four children. Okay. Are they big now or they're still young? No, I have two, two olders mm -hmm. and two younger. Too old and too young. Yeah. How is your son? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cousin like him. Oh, yes? Yeah, but so cute. Oh, man. <laughs> How old is your cousin? Uh, four years old. Wow, good. Yes. You have to to have a lot of passion. Yes, a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. It's not raining in your house today? No, no, not yet. But yesterday it was raining. Three Rain. days, three days seguidos. Three days in a row. Yeah. Like a storm. But it's good. It's, it's good to sleep and listen to the, to the rain. Yes, it is. I love it. Yeah, me too. I like that. It's, it's good. <laughs> All right. Work. Let me see. I, That's think, good. I think it's romantic too. Yes. <laughs> no, but you know, yesterday we were speaking about like sound asleep and, and things like that. I think when it rains very hard, it's like it relaxes you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very relaxing after that. Yes, it is. And you're tired, teacher. Yeah, because you know, uh, no, my day was very relaxing today, but the traffic is, is. Uh -huh. Stressful. It's stressful, yes. Yeah. Um, I was one hour in traffic. I was like, oh. oh my God. You live in Lourdes and you work in Lourdes, correct? Yes, yes. So you I never have know. you never had that problem with los chorros? No. <laughs> no. How crazy. Every day in the morning, I hear, I listen. Oh my God, Los Chorros is full, Los Chorros is not okay. Yeah. Yeah. But they're going to make it bigger, no? Oh, I hope so. Yeah, I, 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 I see that very difficult. Yes. I don't like that way. I prefer uh, to roll and the Carretera de Oro. When I have to go somewhere. Wait, so from Lourdes, you can go to Carretera de Oro? Yes. I, I'm i going to Opico, for Opico. OK. And then I take the, the street ahead. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yes. So like if if if. Is it by Motocross Street? No, no. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, how much time does that take? Well, when I'm going to to San Salvador, thirty mm -hmm. minutes. Wow. Okay. Yes. Always is um, empty. Mm -hmm. When sometime when they are working on the street. Maybe a little traffic. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Hey, what's up, Miguel? Hey, hello, Tisha. How are you? I'm pretty good. And you? I'm good. Yeah, so far, so good. All right, cool. How was your day today? Uh, but uh, it was a little easy. No, no much, no much work. Oh, okay, cool. Hmm? It was a, it was a relaxing Friday. And uh, yeah, I can say yes, a relaxing Friday. But the, 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 the weather is very hot. Oh, nice. All right, let me see who else is coming in. Nobody. <laughs> and you work from home, correct, Miguel Franco? Yes, I work from home. And you work the seven days a week. I remember you told me that. Yeah, but uh, the the weekends are very low work because uh, some offices are, is, is software, but in other countries, they working. Oh, okay, cool. In other countries, they're working. Yes. Because we have a relationship with uh, some laboratories from Asia, mm -hmm. uh, Hong Kong, uh, Turkey, Bangladesh, Shanghai. What, what, what exactly is it that you do in, in your business? Um, I'm a business called uh, development. Yes, um, I have, uh, when I, I use support to all factories here for meals and Sewing factories. Oh. Hello, wow. good evening. Hi. Can you excuse me one moment, please? Porque está pasando una procesión by my house. No se oye, ¿verdad? No. Oh, no. Hello. There's only eight, eight, eight houses in my block. Yeah. Remember those? I don't know what they're calling it, processions. Like 20 yeah. years ago, they were very big. Yes. They were full, but now they're, a lot of people don't go. Yeah, and after the pandemic, I think so they, sus when they suspend uh, all the kind of uh, yeah. um, concentration of people. Yeah. People concentration, right? Yes, it's true. Um, excuse me one moment, okay? Give me one second, I'll be back with you. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you the course, Alex. Ah, uh, curso. Oh, ah, yeah. plataforma. The platform. Yeah. Sí, yeah. Y las preguntas que no no salieran preguntas ahí de de un del examen final que puedas contestar. All, sí, todo lo ejercicio, todo lo ejercicio. Sí, logré, logré llevar al 92%. Ya no quise chequear <risa> otro, sí. 92%, o sea so que. Pero no, no me parece ahí que. Yo tengo que un, creo, una o dos, creo que no las logré hacer. Sí, que me quedé con un 98, creo. Mm, 98%. Uh -huh. Ah, es bueno. Now I understand why uh, Larry told me, because I don't know if you read the message. Yeah. That Larry uh, said, possession. due to religious, ma I was saying, hmm, religious matter so, Friday night. So uh, maybe, maybe he was talking okay. about this. Right. All right, let me share my screen. This one we did yesterday. We did the sleep part. So remember yesterday we finished with even if. Yes. Sure. <clears throat> so um, like it says here, remember, even if that means that if, that the decision, the condition will not influence my decision. Yes. Considering that, considering that introduces causes and reasons that explain the main clause. I am lucky I can get 
on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight? Yeah. The people in my country, I don't know how they survive or I don't know how they pay gasoline, considering that the salaries are not very good. Yeah, right. So considering that is something similar como tomando en cuenta. Yes. Like La Selecta. La Selecta, remember, it started good. Empezó bien. Considering that they didn't practice before. Mm. So they started good, but then they went back to normal. Normal. Yes. Who can give me a... a an example using considering that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, an example. Bukele is always evaluated good considering that the majority of the press is against him. Right. Yo no sé dónde sacan eso, el Gallup. I don't know. <laughs> Pero siempre le pe... Y es international, so. El Gallup es, ¿verdad? Yeah. There's something international. That... But I always see Bukele hits say, 75, 80, 85. He always has good, good numbers. They made it through a cold, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah. Considering that, in El Salvador, yeah. he has a lot of enemies. Right. A lot of powerful enemies. All right. Who can yes. give me, Miguel, can you give me an example considering that? Okay. Let's talk about Bad Bunny concert. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, many people buy of but, pay and trains for the concert, considering that he uh, that he's a bad singer. Yeah, considering that he's a bad finger. He's a bad, yes, it's true. Uh, what about the, the uh, we still have a lot of traffic, considering that, that the highest price of the gasoline and and uh, yeah, also the this the wake of oh, wake of salary, right? Yes, it's true. Yeah, and and we still have a lot of traffic. It's true. Okay, so that's easy, right? Considering that that was a good example, like that. There's always a lot of traffic, considering that. Um. Exp gasoline is very expensive. Right. Okay. Um, next, we have as long as. As long as. De verdad, literalmente, siempre y cuando. Hmm. As long as you love me. Right. Remember that song? Who yeah. you are. What? Okay, as long as. Like, remember the example with uh, Alex yesterday? Mm -hmm. He can say, I, I will go to the party in Campanera as long as there right. are police. Police people there. Or you can say, I wouldn't go even if there is police. Yes. Yeah. Oh, All as, right. As mm -hmm. long as you you um, you give me a armored car, transportation or armored armored car, armed, right? Armed, yes. Armed car, yeah. Like a blindado, right? Yeah, bulletproof. Bulletproof car, transportation. <laughs> yes. As long as yeah. Okay. Uh, can you give me an example with as long as Nuri? Okay, uh, I can go to buy to the mall as long as 
the traffic finish? No, that would be as soon as. Mm -hmm. As long as would be, okay, look, tomorrow we will go to the mall as long as there's no traffic. Yeah. Siempre y cuando no haya traffic. I will be there at five as long as there's no traffic. Mm -hmm. Unless, unless introduces something that must happen in order to avoid consequence. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Unless would be si no. Unless I have my coffee in the morning and I'm not good all day. No. Just in case introduces an undesirable circumstance that needs to be taken into account. I always set two alarms just in case one of them doesn't go off. All right. I always hide an extra key in my car just in case I forget my key. Yeah, as an example, I, I was thinking <laughs> oh yeah 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 you know last uh, weekend not mm -hmm. this weekend the last weekend bef the previous weekend right the week uh, before I, I last okay the the weekend uh-huh the weekend before last i forgot my my key uh my car key inside inside so thank god i i i i got one copy Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it helped me. All right. Miguel Franco. Yes. Give me an example, just in case. I, I got a full charge in my cell phone just in case the batteries get low. Okay, yeah, that's good. Um, only if. Now, only if it's a condition that must be met. Like this, comp it's, it's a condition, I will, it's my only condition. I will go only if, example, I would go to the Bad Bunny concert only if Metallica is next, after Bad Bunny. All right. <laughs> so I would go to the Bad Bunny concert only if Metallica plays after. So that's my only condition. <clears throat> not negotiable. Irena, can you give an example with only if? Only if. Let me see. I will go uh, to the beach on Sunday mm -hmm. only if you pick me up at home. Okay, good. So that's your only condition. You would go only yes. if someone picks you up. Yes. Okay. Because I don't like drive. I don't want to. You don't like to drive? <laughs> I like, but imagine I, I drive all the week in the traffic, in the bad traffic, yes, in the morning and in the afternoon. And then where, where do you work? I work uh, at Colón Escalón and I live in San Martin. Wow, that's a poof. Yes. Where, I'm sorry, where, where do you work in Escalon? Uh, it is consulting. Uh, it's two blocks 
after Crown Plaza going to uh, Luceros. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can, can you imagine my situation? I drive a whole day and you just in the morning and the afternoon. Really? But I do, I do in, all day. <laughs> but during the day, uh, the traffic uh, is less. Mm, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. But well, wait I think wait a minute. Less. I have two questions. One for Alex and one for Irena. Yes. Irena, um, wait, so you live in San Martin, correct? Yes. And you work in Escalón. And yes. um, what time do you go in this, in your work? Well, uh, I leave home at 5.30 in the morning. And sometimes, or most of the times, I arrive at the office at 8, 8.15, 8.20, 8.25, wow. 8.30. What kind of car do you drive? Uh, it's an uh, automatic. But what is it? Is it a pickup, a SUV, no, or a sedan? It's a sedan. It's a sedan. Okay. How much money do you spend a, a, a week on gasoline? Because that's a very uh, big route. It's yeah. a round trip, right? Yes. Ida uh, Vuelta is a round trip. Mm -hmm. yeah. I spent uh, before 30, the. 35? Uh, $35? Uh, I'm spending now 40 40 Yes. Yeah. Wow. And before money. I spent 25. 25 before that? Yes. Wow, but that's a very economic car. That's how much I spend a, a week and just in the city. Yes, yes, it's, it's very economic. But now I'm spending the double. Wow. Almost. Yeah, Alex, why do you say you drive all day? Yes. I'm a, I'm a... I would say, uh, I'm a driver, you know. <laughs> but what, like, driver like uh, for the, for the cost, Uber cost, driver, coastal or... driver? <laughs> no, no, I'm like, I'm, I just. Uh, a microbusero. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you drive a bus? No, you see, you see my face. No, no, I'm I'm a driver for the department, uh, electric department, of um, um, Narcandia, Arcadia, or City Hall of Cartagena. Okay. Single City Hall, right? Yes. Yeah. So I'm the driver of uh, electric department. Oh, Electrician okay. department, right? Yes. Yeah. And what do you drive? So, uh, what do you drive? What kind? What kind I you drive, drive those big trucks? Yeah. Sometimes I have to drive a uh, six, six tonner line. And... But mostly, you know, uh, pickup, double cabin pickup. Oh, okay. And then also a five or four ton, four tons, or how, how do you say toneladas? Tons. So yeah, f yeah. Um, mostly of, um, yeah, five tons of uh, Isuzu. Um, wow. To, to, yeah, you know, we had to carry a uh, letter, letters, and some of the uh, weird, black weird, and things like that. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. And um, lamp, you know, to, if it's, uh, depend if it, the day you had to, to install, to install in, um, those big lamp and um, yeah mostly we have to fix this you know change uh, change um, you know now is uh, uh, the new LEDs LEDs uh, lamps or or you, you call the same this, the, oh, okay. the, the LED lamps yeah okay yeah we, like uh, we are uh, trying to uh, to change the old ones for the new ones, right? For the new LEDs. Yes. Right? Is 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 the is the mayor from Cuscatan single Nuevas Ideas too? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. 
Yeah, but it's, you know, the place is a little, it's a little. Uh, Where is Cusquetancingo? Yeah, right next to Mexico, Mexicano. Yeah, it's it's around Sacamil and, and. Yeah, yeah. No, Mexico, between Mexico, no, but okay. Between Mexicano and Chua Delgado. Yeah, right? okay. Yeah. So it's a little ugly. Yeah, a little, you know, the, uh, and the, the, the main, main strips and uh, it's okay, but this, the size of, of the. It's like Santa Ana. Have you ever been to Santa Ana? Mm. Man, the, the streets no are much. like one, they're very narrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Couple In San Michael, of, too. Times. San Miguel, too. San Miguel, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, San Miguel, too. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see the video here. Excuse me? No, oh, let's, let's, oh, yeah, wait, why okay. did I? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do here. Number one, drivers can fall asleep on the highway if, what, which one is it? If I'm having trouble sleeping. If I'm having As trouble well. sleeping, mm. even if. Mm. Unless they rest before long Unless trips. they rest before long trips. Yeah. What, what do you think about that girl that's suicide? Did you see that on the news? About yeah, the but... medicine student? Yes. Yeah. I I just heard about it. And I don't it's know when, when it's happened. Yes, it's sad. It's sad, but I think it's very, very stupid what some students did. Yes, I agree with you. Because yes. you, uh, I don't know how to say in Karar. Face. Face. You face the man or a woman or whatever and entail something yeah you know no because um i was i was reading her story and then she's frequently posted mm -hmm. oh my mother this oh the teacher told me this all this and then she was she had a depression mm -hmm. and when mm -hmm. you have a depression you see everything negative of course that's depression and she said that some teachers were bad to her, like bah, bah. Mm -hmm. But that's I don't I don't really think that's the reason why she killed herself, or that was the depression. And some <laughs> students started protesting que el maltrato uh, 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 from the university to the students. And I say, don't make this politics. I mean, mm -hmm. she was bad. She was. She she had problems. Mm -hmm. Everything was that. bad. Her mom, the school, I imagine the food, society. But it's not only the university and the teachers. It's a blessing. My, my grandmother says uh, that the people who are acting mm -hmm. on that way, they have a, a spirit to corto. Short, Short spirit, spirit. Maybe. yes. No, but you know what? Um, depression is something ugly. Yes. I, I had depression one time in my life, and I remember it's very bad because it's like it's like you enjoy when something bad happens. Maybe maybe nothing is happening in this moment, and you watch a movie and and, and you want to find something that is bad. So you can feel good for feeling bad. <laughs> so it's what I, I think is what happened to her family and her friends. If they saw she was in depression, they had to help her. Yes. This is not good. But what um, in your case, teacher, do you have a trouble that uh, gave you that emotional state? No, I'm, my, my, my problem was very stupid. It was over a girl. Okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. You know, I was like very in love with her. And, you know, I thought it was the end of the world, but. You were very young. I yeah, I was very young. Okay. But you, you think many stupid things because I was in a very big depression, like for two months. Like mm -hmm. really no eating, no sleeping, nothing. I was like. My goodness, teacher. And now, now I say, I'm 
so stupid. <laughs> you know, I have a problem that gave oh man. I have a, my son, he's five years old. And he has a friend, maybe like four, four houses. And his friend is four years old or five. No, my son is five. Mm -hmm. His little friend is four or five. They're almost the same age. But you know what? That little friend likes to kiss my son on the mouth. Really? Frequently. And my, and my, my oh. son says, no, Rodrigo, boca, no, boca. And, and I saw that. Mm -hmm. In English, do you know the expression red flag? No. no. Red flag is como hmm, alerta. Una alerta, huh? It's, okay. And I said, I said, Rodrigo, no. Who, who kisses you in the mouth, Rodrigo? Because mm -hmm. that's a red flag. Why would a kid like mm -hmm. to kiss another kid? So I didn't get angry because I said, no. I like my, my son's reaction. My son's reaction was, no, Rodrigo, what can I know, you know? Mm -hmm. Because I already taught my son, Boca, no, no, nobody, no mama, no papa, everything. But I spoke with Rodrigo's mother. And I told her, look, um, I don't know. Maybe it was a game. I don't know. <laughs> or mm -hmm. maybe he's confused because maybe he sees mother and father kiss. And he thinks it's normal. But Rodrigo is, likes to kiss my son on the mouth. And, uh, but I was being honest, I wasn't angry or anything. And she took it very offensively. Parents. Her mother, his mother. Uh, his mother, yeah. I saw her reaction that she didn't like my comment. Mm -hmm. And Rodrigo lives with only mother and father or there is, a, there is more people? More people. Living with he lives with... Uh, the mother, the grandmother, an uncle, the son of an uncle. So there's a lot of people in that house. In the, are the son of the of his uncle is uh, is a kid or is a boy? No, he's like uh, adolescent. Okay. Yeah. So I, I I thought I thought about every possibility, <laughs> you know, like. Yeah. But you know, I tell my wife, well, the most important thing is that my son will doesn't go into that house. I don't let my son go into the mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that's a red flag. Yes. Yes. Because we're there's two possible treat. things. Something Maybe is happening. Already. Yes, that, that's a very red flag. And if my son does that, I would love somebody to tell me, look, your son, porque, really? <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I have to see what's going on. I always talk to my son. Did you go to the bathroom today? Yes. Who took you to the bathroom? Because it's a kindergarten. And there are men there. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> I tell him, who takes you to the kindergarten? Who takes you to the bathroom? So, you know. Mm -hmm. So, it's yeah. so yeah, it, this happened you know, like two days ago. And I spoke with his mother. And I said, look, I'm sorry. But I feel I need to tell you something. No la quiero dar mal, but maybe something... You know, yeah, but I need to tell you, mm -hmm. and your son intended multiple times to kiss my son on the mouth, like, you know, she's like, what? I don't know. Her reaction was not madura, very mature. She was, mm -hmm. she, she, maybe she got more offended, but I don't care. I did my job. Yeah. Yes. And, yes. Uh, and I'm actually a little worried about Rodrigo because I don't mm -hmm. know what's happening to him. Yes. But if I see something, I'm going to call the police or something. Anonymous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, hey, look, I'm not sure. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's not, the, no, no normal. Yes, it's not normal. It's a red flag. That's what I'm saying. It's a red flag. Mm -hmm. Yes. So drivers can fall asleep on the highway unless they rest before long trips. All right. Number two, power nap, blah, blah. power naps are work. I'm sure power naps at work are a good idea. As long as you have the boss okay. The boss okay, yeah. Why do I need my boss okay to have a power nap? Uh, because maybe it's not permitted. 
Yeah. Or no, but yeah, I mean, I usually think that power naps are in your personal time, you know, mm -hmm. like your lunch or anything. So if mm -hmm. you want to sleep in your lunch, why not? Mm -hmm. But some people can't just get to sleep. Unless they take a bath before bed. Good. Me, I cannot sleep unless I drink what I drink coffee. I know it's weird. <laughs> You, you have to drink coffee to, to sleep, to go yes. to sleep? Yes. My God, if I do that, I, I would stay awake all night. Yeah, but, you know, I don't think I, but yeah, I don't think it's because of coffee I sleep. I think it's because of my habit, my custom that mm -hmm. um, I, I, I need to drink coffee at night. <laughs> and if I don't drink coffee at night, like right now, I, I you know, I don't, I don't sleep. You are not complete. Yeah, I'm not complete. There you go. <laughs> okay. I was surprisingly alert at work. Considering that I didn't sleep at all last night. At all, all, last all night. Right. Yes. Night owls hate to wake up early. Even, yeah. even, even if it's a beautiful morning. Do you know what is a night owl? Yes. Those guys who likes to to um, stay awake all, all day. night, all day, all watching mm -hmm. something or playing or or do something. Yes. Number six. I only drink hot milk before bed. If I am having trouble trouble sleeping. Yes. I don't know why people say, but I heard that so many times that. Hot milk is good. Yes. Yeah. And I don't know. I All think right. it's a, a, a North American cost, uh, customary. Custom, yes. Custom. I think, but I'm not sure. Yes, it's true. To sleep or not to sleep? That is the question. that's so cool one two three four five paragraphs and four people yeah five people only four are we yes i hope the excuse monday is fui a la procesión teacher <laughs> yeah, that that is, that is, yeah. you know what i didn't believe larry I, I totally forgot today was a, 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 a um religious holiday but mm -hmm. so when is semana santa next week no it's on mm -hmm. april it starts on april 10th i guess oh, okay on april 10th to through april 16th Oh, okay. So listen, I'm, I'm going to read the first paragraph and then you finish the rest. It says, right. to sleep or not to sleep. In the days before electricity, people didn't worry much about sleep. They usually went to bed a couple of hours after sunset and woke at sunrise. After all, there wasn't much to do in those days after the sun went down. But then came the electricity light bulb. And now we have satellite television, the internet, 24 hour convenience stores and longer hours at work. How much can we sleep? How much should we sleep? Questions? Yeah. Mm. Do you know what is a convenience store? Yes. Those, uh... Like a, a little store, right? Eh? They sell the, the first. Um... El típico mini super de la colonia, you know, right. la tienda fuerte. Right. What is a mini super? Really, it's not a mini supermarket, but it's a very big store. But it's not a convenience store. Okay. Is convenience stores mean it means like on the, the primera necesidad? The, yeah, cosas de conveniencia. De, so you're not going to find, maybe you're not going to find a TV. 
Yeah, right. Yeah, yes. maybe you're going to find food or mm -hmm. soap or toothbrush. Mm -hmm. I mean, convenience things that you need for your house. Yeah. And some beverage too. Some beverages, you know, beer, liquor. Mm -hmm. Right. No, tampoco. No, <laughs> saben que en supermercados allá no se puede vender licor. Only beer. Mm. Liquor, you need a license, so por eso hay liquor stores. Mm. Only in li only in liquor stores you can buy liquor. Okay. But like a Walmart, Walmart if you, they work. No, they they don't work the same as. Yeah, same I I, as I don't think I don't here, think Walmart right? sells liquor. I, I think they, they sell don't... wine. Yeah. Here, yes. Yeah. But in the United States, I don't yeah. think so. Uh -huh. Yes, Just... they sell uh, wine and some beer. Mixed mezcladores. Oh yeah, mixed drinks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But hard liquor, no. Yes. Yeah. All right, Irena, can you read number two, please? The second paragraph. Yes, yes teacher. Like it or not, many of us are sleeping less on average. In 1910, most Americans slept nine hours at night. That dropped to 7.5 hours by 1975. In 2002, a study by the National Sleep Foundation found that the average American got only 6.9 hours. The news is even worse for people who wore the night shift. They sleep an average of just five hours. You know who's, who's against sleeping eight or nine hours? I was reading as Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. he, in an interview, he says, it's impossible. People should only drink and sleep five hours. It's enough. Because he mm -hmm. says, imagine you work because, let's say you work eight hours a day, but you travel. So those eight hours become 10 hours a day. Mm -hmm. You dedicate to work. Mm -hmm. So you're going to dedicate eight hours to sleep in one day, that's 18 hours. So you only dedicate six hours to your personal life, your okay. children, your family, it's not correct. Mm -hmm. Pero then again, él es millonario. <laughs> mm -hmm. He doesn't need to work, it's yes. he, does. <laughs> he doesn't need to wake up early in the morning at five o'clock. Yeah. And go to bed at night at 11, at 11 o'clock then. Yes, it's true. Okay, Irena, can you read the third? Uh, choose somebody to read the third paragraph. Um, Nuri, please. Okay. Um, could you move, teacher, the article? You want Zoom or? or... Is You're in the third one. paragraph. Yes, are we? One. Are we? Uh, enlarged, please. I think that's the most I can. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, here. Can you see that? Are we sleeping enough? Okay. Are we sleeping enough? Not. If you believe in in the old form, formula, or formula, or formula of eight hours of rest, eight hours of work, and eight hours of play. On the other hand, Norman Stanley, a British scientist who studied sleep, believes people sleep needs body. Mm -hmm. Some people need, need as many as 11 hours, but others need as few as three. Mm -hmm. How much do we need to find out? He said, simple. Simple? Simply. <laughs> Simply sleep until you wake naturally without the help of an alarm clock that your sleep needs. OK. 
Qué chivo. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? Yeah, just sleep until you wake up. That's what you need. Oh, man, I would wake up at one in the afternoon. <laughs> but you know what? That's true because sometimes I remember like, I think it was this year, but I was so sleepy. I got home and um, with my clothes on, I just went to bed like, <sighs> and then suddenly I woke up at six in the morning. I was like, I slept 12 hours. But man, I woke up like everything was so relaxing. It's like, oh my God. I, I was even driving happily to work. Mm. And then you rest. I rested a lot. Yes. But I can't do that every day. I can't go to sleep at eight every day. That would be <laughs> so simple. Sleep until you wake naturally. Yes. <laughs> I do I that on to... Sundays. But when you have I... children, you can't. Yeah, I have right? com like five alarms to to get up in the morning. Oh <laughs> I think it was Monday that it was raining very, very hard, but very, very hard that I woke up. I said, right. oh, man, que rico está lloviendo. it's time to wake up. And then I look at the window and it was still very dark. And then I look, what time is it? And when I saw it was two in the morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, I was so happy because oh my God. God, I can still have to sleep three more hours. You know, it's like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, man, I love, I love those nights <laughs> that, yeah. that so. you think, oh, man. And then when you look, oh, no, I still have two more hours. I say the same. Yeah, I have good. three hours to, to sleep more. Yes. <laughs> All right, Lurie, hand, thank you. you. Give me the other third, the third paragraph, please. Okay, Alex. Okay. Um, just uh, teacher, I have uh, some. Uh, I have a question. On the other hand, means. On the other hand, on the other hand, the other form. The other mm -hmm. hand. And body, teacher. Body. Very. Ah, very. 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 Yes, it's like, for example, my my wife is a dentist, and she sees maybe like 14 people a day in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So she's very tired physically. I sometimes have 200 calls in one day or 200 emails, but my, my I'm very tired mentally. Mm -hmm. So my wife, she needs to rest her body. I need to rest my mind. So that's what it says. It varies how much sleep you need. All right. Yeah, so because maybe in my case, I need to sleep more because it's my brain that is um, tired. rest. Uh, my wife, she only needs to sleep comfortably. Mm -hmm. You know, relax mm -hmm. her muscles. And... Yeah. Have you heard that expression that es malo soñar? It's not good. Why? Because the reason when you sleep is because your brain is relaxing. Connect. Yes. So your your brain is on a break. But if you're dreaming, then your brain's still active. Mm. So that's why sometimes the next day you're very tired. You're like, I don't mm. to see, man. But I don't know because maybe you slept, you dream all night. Mm -hmm. So your brain never really rested. Rest. Yes. So the objective of, of sleeping is that um, your brain rests, not you. <laughs> well, if your brain rests, you rest. You know, so, something strange. I was I was uh, dreaming last week it was about uh, the war between between Russia and and, and Ukraine. But Ukraine? but you see, I was I was in there. But no, no, over there in the country, I was by my, by my, um, where I born, where I born in my, 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 my town, right? Yeah. Where my in your hometown. Has, my hometown, yeah. Where my father has a, has the, has a little, little farm, right? With uh, orange trees and everything. And, Got uh, the volcano, the big volcano of uh, 
San Vicente, Chinchantepec, and another uh, small, small uh, mountain. Right? So I was in there with uh, of, um, the airplanes or the aircraft, mm -hmm. the fighting, the crashing the airplanes, and the people shooting. You know, was in there the war. I was like, uh, oh my god, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was like a it was like a real like it was in there, you know. Did I you saw. see news from the war before you go? To yeah, see but what was not too much? No, you it know what happened much. to me one time, and actually, it was very right. scary because I dreamt dream and past. I dreamt. Do you know what is stab? Like guillotine. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. I dreamt that uh, I was robbed and that person stabbed my stomach four times in my dreams. But I said, I woke up like, ah, oh, I felt it so, so real that no. I promise you for my son that the next day I felt the four stabs in my stomach like all morning. Yeah, like, right. Yeah, like it hurt. You have it? It was so, so real. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God. I, I felt exactly, I remember when sta he stabbed me like a square. One, two, three, four. And I had the four, like, it hurt. Right? Really? Yeah, it could be. Like, yeah, that was weird. weird. No, something. Oh my goodness. Something I, I heard that Chinese people can do that. Chinese people can control your mind, their mind. Mm -hmm. I forgot what that is called. It's like um, like for example, when you predetermine pain, like if you see a ball coming to your face, and you do this, you know, which is obviously everybody will do that, but you are predetermining. The, the golpe, how much is gonna hurt? So when it hits you, you feel like double the impact. Ah! But what happens when that ball hits you? Like, and you 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 know you're walking and a ball hits you. The first thing you do is like, King me vio. <laughs> yeah, you didn't really feel the impact of the ball, and then and then you go. Ah. But. Yeah, so they were talking, and, and it was maybe the, the, the same the same impact. It was maybe the same impact, but the only difference was that one, you saw it, uh, and it hurt more. And then the other one, because your mind was in another, mm -hmm. you know, when the ball hits you, like, con oh, cuando se cae. You know, like in the street, in the public place, the first thing you do is you wake up and you get up and... That's why, uh, teacher, do you, what do you think about the people who suicidize, uh, jumping suicide. from suicide, jumping from um, a building, for example, the Miss X Mix USA, uh, the, the people says that when the when the people, uh, valga la redundancia, going, going down, uh, when they crash, they are uh, dead, uh, dead uh -huh. before yeah. then they yeah. crash. I don't know, I think that's a theory. But one thing I tell you, I think that if you're going to commit suicide and you, that's very stupid to jump from a building. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Because there's a big possibility that you might be alive. Yes. And there's imagine and, and if you, broken. No, and imagine you survive and you can't talk and you can't move and uh -huh. and you yes. will be live like that because your family will not disconnect you. No, yo me suicidará quedándome dormida, tal vez no sé. Yeah, maybe or just <laughs> shoot yourself <laughs> or something. <laughs> sí, no. no, no, I mean if you're gonna do it, do it good. I mean, don't do it. I, said I wouldn't do it, but uh, no, do but if if I were to ever suicide. I would never jump from a building. Yes. That's course. my only conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> Because I am a big chicken. No, like I said, no, I might survive. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
there's a big probability that I will survive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So who's who's here now? Okay. Uh, uh, meanwhile. meanwhile. Okay. What is meanwhile? meanwhile? Mientras tanto. Mientras tanto. Good. Okay. Meanwhile, other scientists and pharmaceutical researchers are searching for a new ways to keep us awake longer. Mm -hmm. Some are developing chemicals that are safer and more powerful than caffeine. The chemical found in coffee and tea. One experimental drug, CX717, mm -hmm. kept laboratory monkeys working happily, healthily, and accurately for 36 hours future breaking future breakthroughs 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 may allow people to safely stay awake for several days straight one group of us researchers studying a gen found in some fruit flies that lets uh, them get by one on, on one third the usual amount of sleep. Another group is even working on an electric switch that instantly wakes wakes up at the sleeping brain. Wow. Right. Have you ever stayed awake more than 24 hours? Me, yes, but just once in a life. But how, partying or studying? Working. Oh. I I stay. Uh, let me see. More than uh, twenty four. Twenty um, like thirty three. Thirty thirty six hours. Thirty six hours nonstop. Thirty six hours. Because I I went to the office work all day and I finish and the next day in the morning I go I went home to take a bath to uh, change my clothes and I uh, drive uh, back from back the office work. and I work all day all day and mm -hmm. then at night I have an event from the from the office too oh and i finish and um, and i get no i got home about one o'clock in the morning of the next day was your husband angry oh my God. no because i don't have a husband oh yeah you're... <laughs> <laughs> only only if it's my only if it's my business i will do that but yeah you know i will tell my boss no Get out of here. I have to, to rest, man. Mm, yes. Do, it do you was... remember in, in Comalapa, I think it was like one or two years ago that a doctor killed herself because she yes. fell asleep? Yes. No. In, y otra vez, mm. they made that politically, you know, like, oh, man, because el seguro, I think it was like four years ago, el mm. seguro obligates doctors to work 24 hours. And, no, she was a surgeon. She took more than 10 hours operating or something. But yeah, that was so sad. Can you imagine, pobrecita? But then, you know, you stop and think, she's a doctor. Hmm. She mm -hmm. knows the consequences mm -hmm. of not sleeping 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Is it really like, I don't know, she's a doctor. Pues, you know, maybe like, no, I will stay in the una camilla. Because I think they, I imagine they have like, no, I will sleep maybe one a power nap mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. before I go home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But too bad she made the wrong decision. And yes, yes, I think of the people that work at night, uh, they wouldn't or they won't drive next day. They shouldn't. Yes, they, they shouldn't. shouldn't. They shouldn't. Because it's not only your life, you're putting other people's life in risk. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and single mothers, single fathers, or, or people that, you know, 
they maintain the family and because of your ignorance. In fact, if you rest, if you dream at night in the morning, the, the action of go driving uh, relax you and, and, and you feel asleep driving. Yeah. If you, if you have a, a good rest. Yes. You know, I remember one time I was driving to San Miguel. And I was really sleeping, man. And maybe I fell asleep two times in the way. Mm -hmm. But like, maybe like three seconds. like. Mm -hmm. And you're like, whoa, no, no, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and I said, no, man. Um, immediately, I went to the next gas station. I bought a coffee. But I, because I had to buy something, but I slept in my car like at least 20 minutes mm -hmm. because I said, no, I'm going to go kill myself. It yes. was very early in the morning, but yes. really I couldn't dominate my, my, I, I was very sleepy. I couldn't dominate my dream. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I really, it was, it was ugly, but I survived. Yeah. <laughs> But then, you know, you see, like, imagine those truck drivers, pobrecitos. Man. Yes. Because they uh, drive uh, at night. Almost always at night. But do you know why that problem happens a lot? No. Let me tell you. Well, first of all, in the United States, if you drive a truck, they are very complicated because they have a GPS. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know that a trucker, he can only drive 10 hours a day. Only. And there's like a GPS in your, in your, in your, um, in the truck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the monitor that they control you. If you pass those 10 hours, a police can stop you. And Hey, why are you driving? Because you have, it's an obligation. Or that? As That's when good. that you have to rest, yes. But here, teacher, what happens here frequently? I have a cousin that he brings cars from the United States, mm -hmm. and he tells me that um, when the when the cars go to Guatemala, the owners of the cars of the trucks in Guatemala, you know, like maybe I have three, four trailers, mm -hmm. yeah three or four trailers to bring, to send the cars here. And I only pay $100 to the driver para traer los carros and to mm -hmm. go back. Mm -hmm. And imagine that's how much they pay them. And the majority of those drivers, they are over 50. Yes. Casi a tercera edad. Imagine that, that's why like, it's very so you need a hundred dollars a day, yeah, but no, no but no, it's very uh, tired to drive long distance. Yes, it's true. Imagine a truck that is a very high, uh, how say, pesado weight. weight. Yeah, it's it's heavyweight. It's a very big heavyweight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had um, Red Bull? I yes. Just one in a life, but uh, it makes me feel sleepy. Really? Yes. I tried Red Bull like one yes. time, and then I realized I was drinking one Red Bull every day for one week. Okay. Uh oh, oh. If I continue, this is going to be an addiction. <laughs> so I stopped. I, I have try. a friend that he likes to drink a lot of Red Bull that almost every day in day it got he got he got a calculus oh really calculus yes mm -hmm. calculus mm -hmm. yeah, but there's a famous drink that like people mix Red Bull with vodka you know I yes. try Red Bull very, with, very with tequila wow Red Bull with tequila I haven't tried that <laughs> yeah, you, it's good. You know? It's like a coche bomba. No, but it, <laughs> yeah, probably if you um, <laughs> all right, let me heart, you heard something. 
Yeah. Let me finish the last paragraph, the, the last one. It says, the implications of this rest uh, the implications of this research are huge. On one hand, this could lead to a world where we work longer and longer hours with less and less sleep. On the other hand, if we need if we needed less sleep, we would have more free time to travel, read, volunteer, and spend time with family. So to sleep or not to sleep? That may soon be the question. Man. Hmm. I think hmm. I think that labor hours should be reduced. Well, how did the trabajo right. like? From 44 hours to 40. Yeah, but what do you think, teacher? Of if we don't, okay, if we don't cook, uh, we keep my moving the economy and then the, and the industry. Oh, so. Yeah, the industry of uh, one country can now uh, can now uh, advance. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you sleep too much, or right, all the, the all people, the, the people sleep. Too much. I think the, the economy is not going, it's not going on growing, right? But I think now we we have spent more time driving, and yeah. that and that is uh, will. Uh, yeah, I think I think we waste one hour of our life. No, mm -hmm. maybe maybe two hours of two our hours. life in traffic. So. Or four. Let me see. Two or. Four. Or four because two in the morning, two in the afternoon. Well, in your case, <laughs> in your case, yeah. but like let's say generally, maybe, maybe one hour or two. Yes. Um. And that's why the people is very angry driving because they are they don't rest good. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, especially in the afternoon, people are desperate. Like, oh man. Mm -hmm. And the the traffic that they don't have a good rest and the the weather you that know, is hot you know i think i think you know how the government in this moment they're doing many different many things differently i promise you that if they invent a law that no see there's studying the idea of not 44 hours 40 hours a week oh man <laughs> I asegura will get segunda his second round. Yes. And may, maybe they will. Like the government is analyzing to reduce the labor hours, which it will, I mean, everybody, yeah. It's true. <laughs> y como le quiere dar a su enemigo los empresarios, go for it. Mm. Yes. yes. Yeah, you know, that's normal work from eight to five and you know, teacher. You know what we need is um, um, cyclo cyclovi for for a for a bicycle. That would be fine if you if you if you were both. Imagine me and bicycle from San Martin. I have to go from <laughs> no, but you know, you know what? Two o'clock in the morning. But you know, I think that's very <laughs> difficult because whoever built. El Salvador in the 1900s, 1940s, 50s, that person did not have a vision because no, I mean that don't. government, they never they never imagined a yes, you know, someday there will be. I mean, it's it's impossible to make a street longer mm -hmm. or, or wider. Mm -hmm. Let me give you a perfect example. You go to El Bloom, there's no parking. How can someone make a big building with no parking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. El Magico Gonzalez. Oh my God! They made somebody made a stadium for thirty thousand people and no parking. Mm -hmm. El Cuscatlan, forty-five thousand people and maybe one thousand parkings. E and not as a mil caben con maniobras. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Encuchados, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, that's, what, but if you see now the new buildings, now everybody's doing underground parking. 
Yes. Yes. Yeah, but I, so I think, yeah, to make a ciclovia, it, it would be nice, but I think it's very difficult because. There is no space. There's no space. So instead of making space, you would have to reduce space. Yes. Uh, yeah, but uh, there were no much, uh, or no many, no many cars, right? No, but the people, uh, uh, most of the people, don't like to make exercise. Mm -hmm. They prefer to go by car. No, but probably because people scare, you know, of the traffic of the cars. How, mm -hmm. Maybe. How yeah, but can you imagine going all sweaty to work? No, but you can change, you know, take one more, yeah. take one more t-shirt. You know, I think that would be like good. Um, that would be a good incentive for the company to have a gym inside for the employees. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, actually, I, I think I am lucky because my, my boss, my two boss, uh, they uh, led me to go, um, two, weeks, two weeks ago, they uh, tell me that I tried to go to leave home more late than that I did before. And then I, I take less time to drive and I almost arrive at the same time. I'm, I'm spending one and, a half, one and a half hour. And before I spent two and a half hour and sometimes three hours. But uh, for me is, is, is very nice. But not all the people have, have this lucky because sometimes in some enterprise, they uh, discount the, the septimo if you arrive late the seventh day. You know, I will never understand what the septimo means. Also, I know that they will discount two days. Mm -hmm. But they I discount don't, one day. I, when they in a week. But why is septimo? What does seven have to do with that? Because because I think they consider Domingo that they pay you if you don't work. I think. But yes. Sure no. No. Yeah, I understand. Know. But so I don't understand. That's that's not good though. They discount two days from you, not one. Two days? Ah, uh, because it's in a month. Yeah. The, a... No. They like. The day you didn't go and the septimo. <laughs> really? Yes, because if, well, in some companies, if you don't have a valid excuse, mm -hmm. like, hey, what happened yesterday? Oh, for not to go. Yeah, do you have paperwork? But I'm talking when you arrive, uh, for example, in a week, you arrive 10 minutes late every day, you have almost 50, almost 50 minutes in a week that do less one hour yeah and then let me see they they have i think if you are right uh, late more than a 15 or or a 30 mm -hmm. they are a, a discount the set the seven day just to arrive late but it's not your fault because the traffic is really bad it's really bad yes it's true Mm -hmm. but i mean i think i think it's i don't know but okay one time two times it may be okay but like every day i think mm -hmm. the company has every right to tell you hey i'm sorry N not you irana but maybe <laughs> hey i'm sorry we're in les calon and you live in ilovasco it's like when you sign the contract, you are accepting that responsibility to be here at eight. Mm -hmm. But we cannot move the company to Ilovasco. <laughs> yes. Because you live in, I'm sorry. Yes. You know, so I think it's more the responsibility of the employee and not the employer. Employer and la empresa. Y verá que cae mal que que vive más lejos siempre que nunca llega tarde. Mm -hmm. Y aquí usan de ejemplo. Mira, <laughs> sí. Mario, todos los días viene de Metapan. It was the example. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you're the example? Yes, because I'm, 
I am the the enterprise where I work is is small. We are about about fifteen people. And you said it's IT counseling, right? Excuse me. ITS counseling, you said. Yes. Yes. And and I and I am the the ones that live um, far far than the other ones. Uh huh. And I stay before uh, of all of them. And they say, and they ask me, what, what time did you leave home? Well, sometimes 5.20, 5.30. And we say, oh, no, at the time we are still sleepy because they live in San Salvador. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But... <laughs> We have to to continue this year. Yeah. And now with like all this technology, oh man, I'm sorry because I'm late. But there was a lot of traffic and there was an accident in you in your bus. Okay. Um, did you take pictures or? Mm-hmm. ¿A dónde fue? Ahí en los procesos. Let me check on the news. Mm-hmm. Ya no veo. Ya stupid ways. Let me see <laughs> Ajá, pero pues no dice nada, es que es recent, vamos a ver. Like, you know, if your boss wants to be bad, he can. He has tools. <laughs> Before, yes. he didn't. Mm -hmm. He said, David, okay, so you came late, no pictures. I don't see any report on Facebook. I left Dukes, ways. Do you know what happened? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. mejor sabe que te cuenten, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, class, I will see you. You have a great weekend, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you for joining today. Good night, everybody. Yeah, see you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye.